23rd of February, 1324 Ireland skills and kicking coach Richie Murphy spoke to Irish Rugby TV about Dan Bigger, Liam Williams and Lee Healthbunny and the attacking threats they will pose for Ireland at the Aviva Stadium on Saturday, kick-off 2.15pm. The 24th of January, 2217 newly appointed Ireland women's captain Sierra Griffin talks about attending her first women's Six Nations launch and her pride at leading her country into the tournament, which kicks off with a trip to Toulouse next week to face France. The 29th of November, 1915 Speaking to Irish Rugby TV in Dubai, IRFU referee Joy Neville said she was, over the moon and very proud, to receive the World Rugby Referee of the Year award last Sunday. She is in Dubai to referee in the opening round of the World 7 Series this week, and is also looking forward to her Challenge Cup refereeing debut on Friday, December 15, Bordeaux Bagels Viennese ASTM. The 20th of November, 1431 First half tries from Darren Sweetnam, Jack Conan and Dave Carney laid the foundations for Ireland's 23-20 win over Fiji in the second game of the Guinness Series at the Aviva Stadium. Check out the match highlights on Irish Rugby TV. The 13th of November, 1454 tries from Andrew Conway, Rhys Reddick, Rob Herring and Jacob Stockdale, and a man of the match performance from Jonathan Sexton, gave Ireland a record 38-3 win against South Africa in the opening game of the Guinness Series. Check out the match highlights. The 10th of November, 9 o'clock the Ireland Under-18 club's team earned an 8-try 46-27 win over the Portugal U-18s in early November. Here are the Ireland scores from Hayden Hyde, Paddy McKenzie, Thomas Ahern, 2, Padraig McCarthy, Saul O'Carroll, or Ron McNulty and Carl Martin. The 2nd of November, 14-10 Who We Are Is How We Play. Fancy seeing more of how we all belong to the the 28th of September, 1004 They may have left the island but they've never really left Ireland behind. The Irish diaspora of 70 million people around the world are ready to arise and go now, ready for the world, ready for a tournament like no other. Bob Geldof reads from The Lake Island Innisfree by WB Yeats. The 15th of August, 1829 Monday was Community Legacy Day at Women's Rugby World Cup 2017 as the IRFU's Spirit of Rugby program brought together some local disability rugby players from DLSP Eagles, Sea Point Dragons and Westminstown Wasps, and a number of WRWC players and coaches from the competing nations, for a fun-filled coaching, training session and tag rugby games. The 25th of July, 1535 Monday was a momentous day for the Ireland women's camp as the 28-strong squad was revealed for the Women's Rugby World Cup on home soil. Head coach Tom Tierney and captain Neve Briggs spoke to the press at the announcement in UCD. The 15th of July, 1223 IRFU Chief Executive Philip Brown spoke to Irish Rugby TV about the union's 2016-17 annual report which includes increased investment in women's rugby and addresses the challenges of funding for the game in Ireland.